we've had a very successful first day of the of the national consultative forum. Uh, very good uh, level of, of participation from the private sector. Uh, very good levels of engagement on the issues. Uh, I think uh, it's it's clear from the conversations we've been having throughout the whole day that uh, there is uh, a case to be made for the use of the AFCFTA to leverage industrialization in uh, Eswatini as a way of creating decent and gainful employment opportunities for for the people, especially for the for the youth. Uh, it's also very important that uh, infrastructure development is going to be important in terms of uh, creating a, an ecosystem that is pro uh, trade that supports uh, trade within the within the continent. Um, one of the other things that also came up is the importance of developing uh, or, or establishing a national coordination mechanism that coordinates the, the key players in making sure that the CFTA agreement is implemented. How do we really come up with an administrative infrastructure that facilitates that, uh, that engagement? The other important uh, issue that also came up is um, the issue of flanking policies. Yes, we are talking about trade, but it's important that uh, all the other policies that we have are supportive of the trade policies that we are putting in place, are supportive of the national AFCFTA implementation strategy that we are about, uh, about to develop. Now, in terms of how the process is going to unfold from here, this is just the beginning. The national AFCFTA uh, forum marks the, the political and technical launch of the process. This is going to be followed by a, a series of uh, consultations by the two consultants that we have engaged, one on trading goods and the other one on trading services, reaching out to the key stakeholders to get their inputs that will then form the basis of the formulation of the strategy. After that consultative process, they will be then uh, going into the drafting stage of the, of the document. The drafting will be followed by um, a, a, a peer review, a kind of evaluation of that strategy before it's uh, finally brought to stakeholders for validation. And after the validation, which is more of a technical process, there's going to be a political launch of the national AFCFTA strategy. In terms of when do we expect this process to conclude, we are looking at the first uh, quarter of next year. And um, as we go along, we are also going to be having uh, some political level engagements with uh, the uh, parliament in mind, as well as the cabinet, uh, because ultimately this has to be um, uh, adopted by, by cabinet at some point. So we will carry them along the process and we are here to support the government of Eswatin in developing this, uh, this strategy and uh, we will do just, uh, just that. My impression of today is uh, I'm really amazed um, by the turnout. The turnout has been excellent. A really good representation of women. So it's already an indication of this, this progress in terms of um, gender equality in Eswatini. In um, I'm also happy that um, um, gender mainstreaming that we did in this session was well received. Um, and the strategy that we helped develop and you know the feedback that we got has integrated aspects of gender. Um, so we're looking forward to having a, a national implementation strategy that will benefit or have you know equal benefit for both men, women, um, and also youth. And, and the CFTA itself has a protocol for women and youth. So it's important that as countries are implementing, they're not looking at strategies gender blind. They, they should know also that you know um, economic policies, regional international agreements, like the CFTA affect uh, genders differently. We uh, are very excited about the forum that happened today. We can see the consultation process taking place and we've got high hopes for this. We really hope that the uh, forum commits and deliberate to a government so that we can get all sorts of implementations going on on the free trade in African borders to make it easier for SMEs, make it easier to acquire finance, make it easier to acquire water sustainability, to in, 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 uh, in the long run of things for sustainable farming and agriculture and community development. And that is what we are hoping for. And, um, the forum went very well. There's a lot of uh, 
parties taking part from government, private sector, SMEs. We have learned more in terms of even uh, the, the policies that the country, uh, as a region as well, and even Africa, how then can we can we trade freely? And also remember that we are a food manufacturing uh, company, and also we know that in Africa, uh, food is one of uh, the greatest assets. So then we will feel that we are doing well if in, in all Africa people have got access in our in, in, in our product. And of course now we've given us an, an eye opener and we've given us a, a more opportunity to to go to, to to the well and give them whatever we have. Particularly there is an international brand as well. We don't want to see those barriers. We don't want to see those hindrances in as far as trade is concerned. I think this was an eye opener and we kindly appreciate that. Because the time that we had here a whole day, it looked like it's going to be a whole day, but it's short. The information that was unleashed here is more than a day. It, it, we appreciate that. And if you can get more and more of this kind of education, I think we can, can get us further and then unleash what we can as a country. I'm very excited to be here and it was quite a fruitful engagement. What I loved about it is that the young people and the women were actually accommodated and it's very important that as we develop the AFCFTA implementation strategy as a country, we are cognizant of the fact that we have these marginalized groups, the young people and the women, persons with disabilities and it's very important that we also integrate them into the system and um, so that um, our strategy is smart, that our strategy is inclusive and uh, after this I really hope that we continue to be in touch as the AFCFTA Youth Advisory Council are always open for um, such engagement and uh, we always are ready to have inputs that will make sure that AFCFTA Youth Inclusion is made possible in Eswatini. Thank you.